Now in this video, we're going to look at a switch based NAND logic gate. So the NAND logic gate is a marriage between the NOT gate and the AND gate. With the AND gate, we needed all the inputs high for the output to be high. With the uh, NAND gate, we need all the inputs high for the output to be low. The uh, output is high if any of the inputs are low. And uh, so it's the opposite of the AND gate. And there is a quick look at the schematic symbol. So it's the AND gate, and then there's a little dot at the output. And the dot means that it is inverted. So it's the opposite of an AND gate for the most part. I have the uh, push button switches already on the board right there. And uh, you can see that we have one side of a switch connected to the other. So these two rows are always, uh, or these two uh, pins are always connected. These two pins are always connected and we have this jumper making the connection. The other side is going to the uh, negative rail which is ground. So you can see that right there. The uh, jumper up here is not connected to the switch. That is up one spot. As you can see here we have an LED. So we'll zoom in over that. So that's going to one side of the uh, switch here and then the other side to uh, ground. So since the switch is there we need to put the long lead there. The more positive supply is going to come from over there. Short lead the cathode, so long lead is anode. Short lead the cathode is up there. I really assume you already know that but I'll mention that as a reminder. The yeah, pins right there. We have to put it in that way for it to light up. To conduct and light up. So now we're going to work with a 5 volt power supply. I'll show you that really quick. And uh, light's in kind of a bad spot. So 5 volt power supply. We're going to use a 220 ohm resistor here. Of course, make sure you use a value resistor. That will limit the current below 20 milliamps for the LED and a quarter watt for the resistor. So that's going to uh, the switch up here, the top right there. And there you can see the LED is on right now. So the output is high right now. And uh, we can get the uh, truth table back and look at that. So we're in this state. Both of the uh, switches are off or zero. And uh, since they're mechanical switches, they're just on or off. They don't really have a voltage to them at the moment. They're floating. So we press that button, the output stays high. Press that button, the output stays high. So we've done those three. And uh, now I'll press both switches. Now you can see that the output goes low. We will look at uh, the power supply right here. And uh, there you can see we got 13 milliamps right now lighting the LED. So this isn't completely accurate, but it's generally within one or two milliamps. And uh, so now when I press both of them, now you can see there's actually more current. So if you make a switch based uh, NAND gate for whatever reason, even though the load is off right there, you're passing more current. And that is because we don't have the diode drop of the LED. There's a direct connection to ground. So now the resistor, we got 5 volts divided by 220 ohm resistor. That is setting all the current when both switches are closed. When they're open, one or the other, then we have a current path through the LED. So that is the end of this one. This is the uh, uh, quick video lessons. And uh, this is actually a simple circuit, so it does go by pretty quick. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, and uh, all that. Check out Patreon. I put the link down in the uh, video description. That would help out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.